Hey guys, hey everybody, hey Gina, welcome back to another GTA 5 Cut of Car episode. Today we've got the Statling GT going against the Lampard Addy Casco. Both of these, of course, new sports classics that were recently added into the car class. But of course, the Sterling GT being absolutely brand new. The Casco's, you know, is, is one of the recent additions, you could say. It's still a few months, but hey. But look, right, here's the thing. In terms of handling, Sterling GT just smashes most of the sports classics within this uh car class it reminds me of the jb 700 you know that uh james bond car that that shit you know but this one tends to stick out more with its rear it's one of those things it's extremely responsive at high speeds even with its insane acceleration the car just wants to turn and you can just overdo it sometimes and get the hella oversteer but it's extremely predictable so that should not be a worry whereas the casco on the other hand it feels extremely rigid when having to corner with this car where you can understeer and then you get these random oversteering as well which can get a bit annoying and it feels very uncomfortable as if like you got this extremely tight coat that you're trying to loosen up in but you can't but with a sterling gt it's like you're in a toilet and you're letting out all the diarrhea with all the freedom without having to worry about someone's inside that toilet that's blocked up the door so that's the best comparison i could give you the terms of handling with these two acceleration casco however just shoots out with this traction you know, Sterling GT is quite loose, like I said, but it's controllable, you know. Top speed also, Casco pulls away. If you guys remember, we did a little comparison for on a drag strip with Z-Type against Sterling GT when this car first came out on day one. That was kind of stupid because we expected the Z-Type to have insane top speed. We really couldn't gather much information with that comparison. I didn't really post anything further than that. I did do some drag strip tests, but it turns out most of the Sports Classic had better top speed than the Casco. But then I'll be also making videos on that anyway. But it's quite interesting how well the Sterling GC does around a track though. That was quite insane with the results. So the durability test with these two. Turns out they both took similar damage with the rear and the front. You know both uh, the rear and the front did come off. But not to the point where it's completely off. Still intact but um, both had similar sort of visual damage. You know nothing really crunched up. No bump is really coming off. It's just straight up. Both replicate exactly the way it was with the impact with the ambulance covering the same distance. Three times was the test. So points go for both of the cars. Customization options. The Sterling GC has nine in total, excluding the stocks. So there's quite a bit of options compared to the Casco though. Because Casco has only got zero options, unfortunately. However, the Sterling GC you can say is quite restricting with the modifications. Like for example, the spoiler. I mean... You only got one option for that and it's a fat tire just stuck onto the rear that's kind of ugly and it can i don't know it's one of those things like all right you're going to provide us extra traction with a spoiler give us some options because if you're going to make force us to use a fat tire on the rear it's completely ruining the look of the car of course completely opinion but hey it is what it is the truth hurts all right around the race track you know th this is interesting you could just sort of tell with these side by side comparison between the two laps of these cars how the sterling gt just goes in and out so quick like, so quick, she didn't even feel it. Know what I mean? She didn't, like, I don't know, these corners, I call it a she. Because you're always going in and out, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's nice and clean, nice and smooth. That's the Galileo roads, right? Can't disrespect that. You know, staying within the limits, this car is crazy. Like, literally, the car turns with the acceleration that it has is amazing. I mean, not on par with the Casco, of course, but... It helps because when you're going in and out of corners so quick, you're covering less distance. So you're producing the power so quick as well at the same time. So that, you know, that acceleration may not be amazing and standstill start, but you're still able to compensate with its superiority with its handling, being able to go in and out really quickly. So, you know, the, you know sorry, sorry, the Casco, you're sort of wasting time having to drag the thing because it's so rigid. You know, you're wasting time with the brakes. You know, you're you're putting the power down really late. So the Sterling GT just does what it does. Goes in and out. Bang, 129.356 in very few laps. You can pretty much tell with the difference right off the bat here. Four seconds just from that. That's just insane how quick the Sterling GT is compared to the Casco. Wow, that's just mad. So I'll be bringing out a Z-Type comparison pretty soon against the Sterling GT, but Sterling GT is really quick around the racetrack. It's really awesome to rally with as well. I'm sure you guys have seen that Sterling GT 
rally playlist live stream the other day. But yeah, expect to see more comparisons, guys. I'll be busy in the next few days. Uh, I'll be going off to Egypt on the 3rd of July, coming back on the 11th. So I'm going to try to schedule some videos in the meantime and vlog it as I'm there as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think with the Sterling GTE. What you guys think of the car and how would it compare to the Casco in your opinion? Thanks for watching. Show you sign out. Good night. Peace. Yeah. Oh, if you guys haven't seen it already, be sure to check out the Pegasi's and Tornado against the Pegasi Osiris. The two brothers going at it. The most dominant supercars. I'm sure you guys are curious to see which one's better. Those two.